We hear in Eugene Peterson's translation of Luke's Gospel the following. When it came close to the time for his ascension, he gathered up his courage, he steeled himself for the journey to Jerusalem. We are quickly approaching Lent and beginning our Lenten journey. Last year, Connie and I traveled to the Holy Land between the COVID peaks. It was the journey of a lifetime to travel where Jesus lived and journeyed himself. It seemed he was often on the move. One of the interesting facts that we learned while we were there in Capernaum was that Jesus in all likelihood made Capernaum his home base because it was on the crossroads of the empire at the north edge of the Sea of Galilee. Nazareth was out of the way, but this location was in the center of travel and commerce. We see Jesus journeying from there throughout the region by road and by boat. Almost half of the Synoptic Gospels are Jesus and his journey to Jerusalem, to the cross and to the ascension, as Peterson translated. In this journey that Lent represents for us, it is the journey to the cross. The one thing that I've learned about travel, and certainly journeying in the Holy Land, is that unexpected things happen on trip. There is change, transitions, and adventures. We did not expect when we arrived in the Holy Land that we would be immediately taken to Nazareth, where the government required the hospital to test our blood to see if we had been really vaccinated. Day trips and sites and visits were frequently changed because things happened unexpectedly on our trip. And I have to be honest, I am a person who likes predictability. I like to know what's going to happen next. I like the sense of control that that brings. But travel and journeying, they're simply not that. There is change and transition and adventure. The disciples experienced unexpected things in their journeys with Jesus feeding of thousands of people with meager resources, speaking to a Samaritan woman, traveling with no purse or supplies, turning water into wine, and turning their faces to Jerusalem, knowing that their lives were at risk. Perhaps our real growth comes in the journey, in the unexpected. Think back to your own faith journey the surprising moments when God spoke into the silence, when you saw or heard God in the face of a stranger or friend who revealed something to you that was right in front of you, but to which you were blind. I pray that your Lenten journey will be one of unexpected turns that will lead to growth, ways in which the silent, quiet voice of God breaks into your life. And that once again, you'll be surprised journeying the way of the cross by the love of an unpredictable 